What is good everybody today? We are diving into some different things that I noticed at San Diego Comic Con. We have a lot of new figures coming out very, very soon in 2024. I think every single figure we're talking about today is going to be released this year. Before the end of the year, we should have these figures in our hands. But I was going through the images. We already did our breakdown of San Diego Comic Con. I was there in person. but And some of these things I was not able to ask because I did my interview before I actually saw these things or I got to see images online or whatever the case is. So these are some things that have come up after I have kind of broke down the images and I did bring some of these things up in our former videos breaking down the elites and ultimates that were revealed at San Diego Comic Con but today I want to break down those things in general and just put them all into one video and everything that kind of bothers me about upcoming WWE action figures that we're going to get this year so in this video we're going to be breaking down issues that I have with upcoming figures and you can kind of tag along I wanted to make this video because I wanted to see if you guys agreed with the points or if you were against the points or you think I'm crazy or whatever the case is, man, chimed in down in the comment section below and let's dive into it, man. Let's start things off with probably one of the better reveals of the entire week at Comic-Con, and that is going to be the Ringside Exclusive Ultimate Edition Money in the Bank CM Punk figure. I think everybody can kind of agree that this figure is amazing. I think that this figure looks very good, and the only issues that I have with this figure is I feel like the yelling head sculpt looks a bit wacky. I just don't know if the execution was quite there. I think that it is a little bit off there, or a little weird, or I don't, I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling it. And even the blowing kiss face isn't the best, but I would say that the blowing kiss face is serviceable, but the yelling head sculpt, I don't know, just looks a bit crazy to me. I don't know. I wasn't really I think the blowing kiss head and the smirking head are pretty damn money, but the yelling expression kind of took me out a little bit. I don't know. You can let me know what you think. I feel like yelling expressions, I don't think Mattel is totally just incapable of doing them. I just feel like they're hit or miss. They're either really, really good or they're just a little bit wacky, but that is the first figure that I wanted to talk about is the CM Punk Ultimate Edition. Still think this is going to be figure of the year. Still love this figure and everything about it. I just thought that the yelling expression here was a bit funky sometimes. Next up on the list, and I'm just kind of going in order by the images that I had saved on my computer. Computer, but the Rhea Ripley Ultimate Edition. I think this figure looks amazing. I'm very much looking forward to this. Based on the Asuka Ultimate Edition that we've seen and some other Ultimate Edition women's figures we've had, I am very excited for this Rhea Ripley because I think it's going to be that damn good. But the only thing that is a problem here is that it comes with a ring. And I, I kind of put this as kind of like a little tongue-in-cheek deal. But I was like, you know what, man? This, this Rhea Ripley should not have come with a ring. This should not have been a character they put in a ring. This would have sold like hotcakes regardless. I, I know that it's a business. It's just, it's just cheap. Jesus, man, can we please put her in the main line. Hopefully, they will give us a main line release of her. Not only that, but she comes with the world, you know, the women's championship. It's like a new women's championship and an Ultimate Edition Rhea Ripley. It's just like, come on, man. It just is like dead gum, son. But Rhea Ripley Ultimate and then I, I did put no sternum tap but I mean, I, it's not the biggest deal. Again, it, this is kind of a joke, but it's also like kind of serious at the same time. It's kind of one of those you know, on the fence deals, but I wanted to put Rhea Ripley in there. Another figure that I wasn't really feeling the head sculpts on is going to be LA Knight. I feel like LA Knight, besides the that basic figure, they have not been able to nail head sculpts. I don't like any of the head sculpts coming on this figure right here. The mouth open head sculpt where he is actually talking into the microphone doesn't bother me that much because he has sunglasses on. And this figure will probably be fine if you put the sunglasses on. And I'm not even going to get into the thigh mold. I think his legs are too skinny, but... Just talking about head sculpts in general, LA Knight is one of those guys that they just seem, they can't really get him right here. So he's joining Bret Hart, he's joining Becky Lynch. They are, you know, some guys that I don't think they necessarily nail. I like the way Rey Mysterio looks, I like the way Dominic looks from this wave, but LA Knight head sculpts are not my favorite from this entire Ultimate Edition figure right here. Another figure's head sculpts that I'm struggling with is going to be my man Finn Balor right here. Finn Balor's Ultimate Edition head sculpts, it's not really, you know, the smiling head sculpt with the new beard, it is, a, you gotta preface this with a lot of different points and everything in this video I think kind of speaks to the fact that Mattel is crushing it right now but this Finn Balor figure right here I don't like that they went with a smiling head sculpt I would have much preferred a pissed off head and I would have preferred like longer hair instead of the shorter haircut so he's smiling he's got a shorter haircut and again it is a render image so I can't completely speak to it I do like the new torso I love the interchangeable arms with all the tattoos and the other bummerific thing about this is that he's coming with the Elite 82 head sculpt and then that you you know, that pissed off head sculpt from Elite 111 that we've seen on multiple basics. So, I don't know, man. I, I just, I, I'm worried about this figure overall. I think he will have the new shoe mold. He should have. I'd love to see a new leg mold, by God.
God, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that. I just hope that this figure's execution is good, but the head sculpts wasn't really feeling the Finn Balor head sculpts. I can't really say too much because, again, it is a render. We're going to get a prototype. We're going to see more images of it, and that'll kind of give me a better idea of what to expect, but the Finn Balor heads were not my favorite. It's not something that I'm, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they necessarily nailed it here, so I'm kind of skeptical, and we already know about two of the other head sculpts it comes with that are re-released again, so it's, I don't know, that kind of bummed me out right there looking at these. Another release that we're going to get into is going to be the fan takeover John Cena. Now, I am the biggest John Cena collector you'll find in terms of action figures for sure, and I was, I, I've covered this a, a few times on the channel already, but the reason that I did not want WrestleMania 20 to win this vote here in this fan takeover series is because nothing he wears here is going to have any logos on it officially. So, all the logos you see, the Mushroom and the New York Knicks and the Mitchell and Ness and all these different logos that are going to be coming on this figure, they're going to either have to make fake logos or they're going to have to pretty much just put John Cena on there or WWE or something like that and it's not going to be accurate. So, you know, I guess if you just want a ruthless aggression sort of Doctor of Thugonomics John Cena without any logos on there, it's not the biggest deal. But for me, being a John Cena guy that I am, I do have a custom of this figure. It's not come. It is the previous released basic arms into an elite. I kind of fixed up an elite with the WrestleMania Heritage arms on there. And on that figure, they just gave him green armbands, black armbands with a taped hand. They did not put any logos on it whatsoever. So it just looks plain Jane. Hopefully they'll do something different here. Maybe they'll put some sort of fake logos or maybe they'll get around it what they can. But they're not going to do anything to the hat. I don't know how you could do anything to the hat unless you did like his Ultimate Edition before and put limited edition or something on the hat instead of Mitchell and Ness and then with his jersey they're going to put Cena on the back and it's they could probably put a blue and orange jersey with the 33 on there I just don't think they can do anything else I I, I highly doubt that they're going to be able to do you know I, I don't think they could put New York on there right I don't think they're going to be able to put the Nintendo logo or the Trans Am logo or whatever it is so I don't think they're going to be able to do those things so that's kind of bummy as well but I did want to put this in here but this is probably this is just like a not a good pick of of the sort and I I, don't, I wish this wasn't even an option, but WrestleMania 23 would have been much better in my opinion. Even though we've seen that in Elite form, it would have been nice to have it in Ultimate Edition form to redo that Elite because that original Elite wasn't good anyway. So there's a lot of stuff to unpack right there. But the next figure is going to be the Tiffany Stratton Elite. This one might be the worst figure that was shown off or biggest disappointment. I know a lot of people were very upset about the Tiffany Stratton. I just don't think they did her any favors, man. This head sculpt is a big wolf. It reminds me of one of the Barbie dolls from Small Soldiers when they took them over and like, you know, like brought them to life. That's what this head sculpt reminds me of. It just does not look good. Maybe it can be repainted. Maybe it can be saved. Maybe the sculpt's good. I just think the paint apps look a bit messed up. And again, this is a sample of a figure. This is not an official Tiffany Stratton. Maybe it'll look better at the end, but I think her basic figure is much better than this. So. We'll have to see when that comes, but this figure definitely was a big yikes. I, I did not like the head sculpt here on this Tiffany Stratton. Next up is going to be Natalia. Now, I know that Natalia's greatest hits figure right here originally was a figure from back in the day that was going to be a Walgreens exclusive. It was going to have different things going on with it. It is going to come with the, with single jointed knees, and that's really the biggest disappointment with this figure. I also didn't don't like that they just painted over a sculpt on the top, so it looks a bit weird how you have that transition of different, you know what I'm saying? Like there's paint over that sculpt and it's over skin. It looks a bit weird and that's truly tragic. I don't know if you could just switch the legs with an Elite 74 Natalia. Maybe that'll be something you could do. That'd be really awesome if you could just put those Elite 74 legs in there. But then again, it's not, I don't know. Like you, we'll have to see, I guess. You know, you do get the the, claw, the Paul's Out, Claw's Out shirt, which is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to the figure in terms of the shirt and stuff. But single jointed knees with those basic boots is going to be a nightmare. It's not going to be very good. And plus, Plus, there's paint over the belly button sculpt. It's just one of those things where, I, I don't know, man. There's just disappointing things about this figure. Because I think, aesthetically, the head sculpt looks good. The gear looks good. It's just, you know, there's just those things that bother me there. No jo double-jointed knees. And it just kind of looks kind of cheap for an elite. And it's kind of bummerific there. But the next thing is going to be Carlito. I think his skin tone could be upgraded. Not that, you know, I, hopefully that'll be something they can fix. You know, they fixed Eddie Guerrero. They fixed Dominic Mysterio. I think they could easily fix Carlito on his future releases. Maybe we'll see that. But this figure doesn't look bad. I'm still very much looking forward to Elite 113 Carlito. I think people are way more hyped for Elite 113 over 112. I think 112, people were saying that it was dog shish or they weren't really hyped for any figure out of the set. Hopefully in Elite 113, that will be a change of pace because we get Trick, we get CM Punk, we get Carlito. There's a lot of good things in Elite 113. So Carlito, I think that they should get him fixed there. And the last figure I want to address in this video is going to be a guy I made a short about the other day that was kind of strange. It is going to be Jacob Fatu here and he just has a very weird tour so, man, a very weird looking torso. First 
time on the line torso. It looks like it kind of reminds me of a cross between like a Daniel Bryan torso or a Bo Dallas style torso and a Hulk Hogan torso. It looks like you can morph those together and his proportions are all crazy. So hopefully Jacob Fatsu will be fixed by the time he gets to us and all those different things. Hopefully, I feel like it's in the grayed out render scale. It's not even in prototype form. It's not nothing. So I imagine they could easily fix this guy up if they wanted to. Hopefully, that'll be one of those cases since it's not too far along. And hopefully, it won't be one of those things where they just rush the figure out just like it is, just so they can redo it and get people's money twice. Hopefully, that won't be the case. I hope they fix this figure. I just don't like this torso choice. I think it's odd. And I just wanted to get on here and touch on some of the things that you know, just kind of bothered me, you know, just certain things that I took a look at. And I'm sure I probably addressed some of these things in those coverage videos when we broke down images and all those things. But I wanted to get on here and make a video and just talk about the problems in general in one specific video so you could get all of that kind of wrapped up into one. Everything else, I, I really, like, I, I scrummaged through the images, I went through everything, and I could not really find anything that, you know, necessarily is bad, you know, or at least off the cuff. Everything I saw looked fantastic. It was a fantastic Comic-Con overall. I thought that they nailed it overall. Probably the best Comic-Con ever in terms of AEW and, ja AEW and WWE both completely crushed it. And there may be one or two other things that kind of bothered me, but nothing, uh, you know, to write home about. I think mainly you're looking at head sculpts and you're looking at some different choices that could be, you know, switched at, at times. But I think overall, just completely nailed nailed it from every other perspective. I, I, I think that everything else just looks so money, and Mattel is in the like a peak era. I mean, for the last couple of years, every figure they put out is just amazing, and it's really good that you don't have to get on surgery or something like that and really change these figures around. Now, we're just kind of having fun with fix-ups and mixing figures up just to make a really cool-looking figure, and that's what's really great about it. So we'll have to see about that, man. I'm really excited to, to do surgery with some new upcoming figures as well. Like, I know on on uh, a future episode of Surgery, maybe it'll be episode 100. I definitely want to do something with the SES Punk with the you know with the camo tights. I think I have some ideas for what I want to do there. I saw plenty of figures that I want to fix up and change around that I could use on Surgery. I think the Elite Four, 114 Jey Uso with the Elite 113 Kofi Kingston shoes would also be really sweet. So I don't know, man. Just been in the lab cooking up some things in my brain. I know we have one more episode before we get to episode 100, but wanted to just get on there at the end there and talk about that. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always, man. But that is going to wrap up everything that I wanted to talk about today with upcoming WWE action figure releases and just the things that, that we're facing here coming that I didn't particularly like, man. But anyways, that's going to wrap the video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.